reading today is lesson six of our Seasons and Weather Unit. We're going to be reading The Grasshopper and the Ant. First is our vocabulary. Bear is that there is nothing there, nothing left. Future is a time that will happen later. Last is to have enough of something to last for a certain period of time, not like the last in line, it's a different kind of last. Shivering is shaking from the cold or trembling, and personification is giving human characteristics to something that isn't human, like animals or trees or something like that. Your purpose for listening is to listen, to careful, listen carefully to the story and where it takes place, and there's going to be different seasons throughout the year, and I want you to be able to tell me the differences of the seasons. Here we go. In a field on a fine summer's day, a grasshopper was hopping about, singing and dancing and enjoying himself. Nearby, a group of ants was hard at work. They had built their house underground and they were filling it with food to last them through the long, cold winter ahead. Why not come and play with me? asked the grasshopper. Why bother about winter? We have plenty of food now. Come, leave your work. Now is the time to dance and sing. But the ants paid no attention to the grasshopper. They kept working hard all day, every day. Why do you think they were working so hard? Pause for a discussion. Play when you're ready. Look at the grasshopper in this image and describe what he is doing. Pause and play when you are ready. But not the grasshopper. All summer long, while the ants worked, he jumped about the field and danced and sang. Sometimes he'd sit for hours and listen to the humming of the bees or watch the butterflies flitting about or take long, lazy naps in the warm sun. And when he woke up, he would sing this song. The summertime's the time for me, for then I'm happy as can be. I watch the butterflies and the bees. As they fly around as they please. Oh, summertime's the time for me, for I am as happy as can be. Yes, the grasshopper was happy, happy, but he thought about the future. One day, the grasshopper woke up and felt a chill in the air. Then he saw the leaves turn red, gold, and brown and fall from the tree. Then the days kept getting cooler, and soon the grasshopper saw no butterflies or bees, and the fields where he liked to sing and dance turned bare and hard. Bare means not covered, means there's nothing left. Remember, the leaves fall off the trees, and the grass in the field dies. What season of the year is it now? Pause for discussion and play when you're ready. Soon, the cold days of winter were upon him, and the grasshopper was freezing and hungry. He came to the ant's house and knocked on the door. Why do you think the grasshopper is knocking at the ant's door? Think about that. Pause and play when you're ready. What do you want? asked the ants. May I come in and share your food? asked the grasshopper. What did you do all summer? asked the ants. Didn't you put away some food to use for now? No, said the shivering grasshopper. I didn't think of that while I was singing and dancing in the sun. So, said the ants meanly, you sang and danced all summer while we work. Well, now you can sing and dance while we eat. And as hungry as the grasshopper was, he walked away and he sang his song. Next time I'll work as well as dance, then I'll be ready 
just like the ants. Pause here for discussion and play when you're ready. Pause here for discussion and play when you're ready. Hope y'all can hear Skylar. Pause here and play when you're ready. Pause here and play when you're ready. Pause here, play when you're ready. This is going to be your journal entry. You can write a sentence about the grasshopper. Thanks for listening to our story today. Still loving the show. Bye.